G'day YouTubers, it's Tommy from Taplays and today we're looking at the Gazelle next. Now this one, I'm going to Google the specs because this is a, a, a thing in Russia and I'm dropping things everywhere. So, yep, uh, this one's got no stuff. Uh, nah, nah, nah. So let me just quickly look this up. This thing up. So it's the Gazelle next. And this one's in a box truck. This one's a box truck thing, obviously. Uh, I can't spell. Gazelle. Next. Here we go. So, the engine choices you can get with your box truck or your low bed truck. This one's a box truck. You can either get a 2.0. 2.8 litre Cummins ISF2 straight full, or a 2.7 litre Evotech E4. It's a 5 speed manual. This one's a 5 speed manual with the 2.8 litre Cummins. Um, it's a FR layout, whatever that means. It's a light commercial truck. It's basically a truck, a pickup truck, or a minibus. So you can have it in those uh, body styles. It's made in Russia and Turkey. Uh, it's a current model. It's 2013. First, that's the first year. Ah, oh, well, I'm guessing this is the refrigerated truck, the A23R3200116. I think that's it, because that makes it an extended wheelbase. But yeah, that's basically all I'm going to tell you about the bus. I mean, there's three different trim levels, which is the basic version, Comfort 1, Comfort 2. I think this is the basic model. So, anyway. Let's look at the colours. So we've got white, blue, black, grey, something, and white again. So let's check on black. It does not have a manual, I mean, automatic gearbox. It only has a manual transmission. And it's an anti lock, and then there's ABS. It's a fairly new one. And we'll take it to a dealer, to the dealership. So this is video two out of four. Um, it might not be in order, but you never know. You never know. This is loading up, it's not taking as long as the Renault Duster. And the Gazelle next is basically the van liner of the, um, uh, in, um, in Russia. They all about, they're all about gazes and larders and vases and all that stuff. So, and uh, here we go. Look at what about that. That's a quick loading fee. Right. So there's the dash. Uh, it goes 6,000 RPM because it's a diesel. I'll uh, just check gears. Cool. 5 speed manual. It is the manual gearbox. There's a stereo. Air conditioning. A poorly uh, rough made steering wheel by the looks of it. I mean, it takes. As you see, it's a bit jagged, but I think it's like that in real life. Uh, okay, let's check the lights. And the flashes. Yep, flashes work fine. Yep, they're right there. There you go, let's get in. Okay, yep, that's definitely a diesel. It idles at 814 RPM, and our number plate today. It doesn't have a number plate. Okay. Right. Anyhow, let's get the cameras in the right position. Uh, let's, let's check the interior. There is some light stuff. Okay. Let's go. Oh, seatbelt. I almost forgot my seatbelt. Anyhow, let's get out of here. Don't. I've been driving it like I'll be driving it like a diesel, not like if it's got 7,000 RPM plus. Which is basically going for the gears nicely. Okay. 
Twenty fifth year. That's what's as it's a low rev range. The top speed of this one got a speedo goes to two hundred, just like the other car, the other Renault. So that's basically what the Gazelle next looks like. I think that's the previous model before this one. This is more of the modern version. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. I'm going to basically shift it at 3,000 revs and take that no problem. There's no one coming, so... I'm not going to that destination, I'm going to... I'm going to the dealership because this is a dealership car. Now, let's improve our rev range a bit. There we go, that's better. Cruising in fifth gear about three grand is 110 kilometers an hour. And the mirror, the rear mirror, rear view mirror has been stuffed up. I mean, they might need to be adjusted. No. Nope. And shift 2600 RPM. But that's good custom sounds. That's, I was expecting them normal van sounds, like you can drive like that normal van truck thing. No Russian van truck fans in the standard game. So here we go. Why am I looking over there? I don't know why. I always look over there, I'm thinking the camera's over there. I might move my. I maybe, I may, I'm thinking about moving my camera over there, but I don't think it's going to work properly because my microphone is the camera. We might see how that goes next video. Alright, actually, yeah, let's move it between videos to see how people think about it. Let's move that down here. Let's see how that looks like. How does that look like? Yeah, that's alright. I'll just go with my hang on. I was this is we're gonna be a thing I'm gonna do. Let's click on face cam. Let's do it like that. Let's see how that goes. Yeah. That's not too bad. Let's see how that goes. Right. So that's done. So let's go back to the game. Um so uh what I like about this uh fan is Number one, I like the custom sounds, that's actually really good. Um, I like the modeling in some places. I mean, now, look, now the steering wheel looks alright. So it's basically the, how much light there is and how it drives like a normal full speed manual. That's good, I can't change that, can I? No. What I don't like about the van is see, there's a few rough bits in the. Um, Things you probably can't see where I'm pointing now because I moved my camera over here. So hopefully you like the new camera position. I actually like it there. Uh, but it's easier for me to unplug and re-plug the camera. And it's easier for me to keep it in the same position. So hopefully that's good. I'm just going to move my seat over here. So yeah, this is good uh, overall. So hopefully, I haven't checked the wipers out. Screw that. Let's go. Wow. Okay, here we go. 
Will I get to the dealership before it hits 110 if it does and then it doesn't? I don't know what happened there. I swear I switched gear. Okay, we're at 90. This is pretty so there's a drive so basically like a everyday van. But all the vans that I see and box trucks and mainly Mercedes sprinters, Volkswagen crafters, transporters, all of that stuff. Okay, that can go come in here. It did hit 110. I'll just go park it up here because it doesn't fit in with any of these. Alright, uh, here we go. Well, guys, uh, if you want to get this mod, the forum link for the City Car Driving Forum to get all the mods uh, will be hopefully in the description if I remember. Um, so, if this is the first video you see uh, from me, uh, please make sure you head over to my YouTube channel and see the over 100 videos that you probably haven't seen. Uh, don't forget to, to subscribe if you're new. Uh, we've passed, I think we've basically passed my old subscribers, my old YouTube channel subscriber count, which was about 62. We're at 63 subscribers. Uh, can we hit, I hope we to get nearly 100 by the end of the year. If it doesn't happen, if it doesn't happen, um, I, don't give, I, don't cr I don't give a damn. Uh, if it happens or not, uh, because I'm not doing YouTube for views or subscribers, I'm actually doing it for entertainment purposes. Like, I want people to be entertained when they watch my videos, I don't care about all the numbers and all that stuff. All I care about is if people are like being entertained. So that is pretty much it for me, um, thank you very much for watching, keep driving the speed limit in your flesh over again in, in this virtual world, whatever it's called, and remember, Gay for life. Oh, I don't even have a microphone again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and hopefully you heard me then.